Ceresa and the Lost Demon. Yo, what's up, guys? Back to a brand new episode of Cere of uh, that brain. Sorry, uh, Bayonetta Origins: Cereza and the Lost Demon. Now, last time we know that, uh, yeah, Cheshire wasn't too happy with us because he doesn't believe all the Lucan stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's a whole nother thing. But uh, either way, we're gonna continue where we left off here. Uh, Cereza and Cheshire discover that final element. That the final elemental core is inside Hookah's fortress. I don't even care to say that correctly, bro. For Lucan's sake. Uh, as well as her own. Cereza resolves to break it. Here's where it gets interesting. So, uh, yeah. I really wonder what's going to happen with uh, Cheshire now. Because dude is not happy with us. And I guess we are going to be heading out this way. I probably just like blew your guys' ear out. Sorry. Alright, give me that. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Hey, so you know what's funny? Tiernanogs. I really still hope I'm saying that correctly. Nah, bro, I'm just joking. I'm literally just stalling so we can get a sip of water. I don't actually give a frick about saying it correctly anymore. Oh. What? Huh? Okay, that was confusing. I don't even know what just happened there. Wow. A donut. Bro, the amount of kids that must have fallen for that is probably sad. Oh, I wanted to, uh... Um, problem. No, I didn't want to, oh my god. Bruh, ain't no way. Bruh, stop having the prompt appear. Are you for real? Nah, bro, get over here. Just don't want him to die. Thank you. Now we can finally deal with you. Anyways. Huh? All right. Oh, I don't think I did it. I need to try that again. Oh, wait, we're still going?
There we go. Now here's the funny thing. This video is being made on April Fool's Day. And will be uploaded today. So... Obviously, this is not an April Fool's joke video or anything like that. This is actually just straight up a normal Let's Play video. I mean, hey, I've already made, like, enough April Fool's videos for today. Like, oh my god, what? There's, like, four uploads for today? Like, lord. Honestly, having another one would just be mean to my viewers, honestly. No! Oh my god. Bruh. Why would you do that, Cheshire? Why? Like, this is so annoying because it's so easy to, like, jump off of everything. So I have to go in the exact right spot to where the prompt doesn't appear. Oh my god, that is annoying. Let's get this. Oh, there we go. Now, what's over here? Oh, my bad. Okay. Bro, why'd that flower just go, like, 25 FPS? Or, like, 15 FPS? Did y'all see that? Like, the game wasn't, but just specifically the flower was. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we can't go that way. Oh, that just means death. All right. Okay, bro. I see how it is. Yeah, so Cheshire can't go that way. Um... Okay, Cheshire can swim. Come on, buddy. Okay, this is dumb. Oh, there we go. Wait. Is there any illusion I have to get rid of? Oh, right, this, okay. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I, I am dumb. I mean, this is how we reunite. Alright, cool. Now. No. This way. There we go. Oh, I see. Bruh. Uh... Do we want to do this? No, back. Okay, yeah. Alright. 
in we go. Alright, another Tiernanog. Bro, I still can't get over what I did last night when I recorded the freaking uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Where I screwed up and said the Mirage Express instead of the Mirage Express. Like, bro, I am so bad. Like, I am genuinely so bad. Like, how, do you, how does somebody screw that up? Like, genuine question. It's like, it's it's not like I don't know what the word Mirage is. I obviously know what that word is, and I've seen it used, and I know how it's spelled. Like, bruh. And yet my brain, on like two hours of sleep, says, Ah, oh, that's the Mirage, bro. Not the Mirage, no, that's the Mirage. <laughs> like, bruh. Yo, one sec. Just gotta get you. You are being jumped, good sirs. Including you. Okay, we're still going. Oh, that was a trap. Good thing I avoided that. Okay. Yo, Cheshire. Stop it. Uh, am I doing something wrong here? That may just not die. Hold up. There we go. Oh my god, this is a long fight. Oh, okay. That works. Why am I still standing there? And we're done. All right, well, let's go. What you got for me in here? Cool. Okay, good. <laughs> we actually get to increase our vitality. So we don't die after that miss up. All right, y'all know the drill. Speed run time. Oh my god, super drift, bro. That was a long one, though. That tuner dog took, like, what, a good five minutes, I would say? Alright. Tuner dog complete. Oh, and a sanctuary. That's actually really good. Hold up. I need to, like... Anything else I could get? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be anything for now. 
However, there is one thing I do need to do before we progress. I'm exhausted. And I noticed it during that fight. Uh, we need some more healing. Oh, we, we should not do that. Uh... I would say health is the most important. Cool. Still love the little Cheshire just like cheering her on. However, in story in the story's context right now, that definitely should not be happening. All right. Oh, I didn't. I accidentally hit that button. I did not actually think that that would do anything. So I could just swipe fire to put it out. That's good to know. Wait, lily pad. No. Okay, I was about to say. Oh my god. Okay, whirlpool. I guess that just tells us which way to go. Bruh. What is that weird force field? Oh yeah, I forgot. We can completely obliterate somebody if they are, uh, stuck. Oh? Hello? Dang, bro. You really got those thunder powers? Not even gonna try. You know, we're gonna mess with you first. Hold up. Oh, well, bye bye. Mine. And that should be that. <laughs> huh? No, we did it. Or let's go. Just, hmm? Oh boy. Yep. The more and more we progress in this chapter, the more and more the title of the chapter Horn actually is starting to make more and more sense. Bruh. Now it just seems like they're top. Yeah, now it just seems like they're tolerating each other now. Kesha was having a grand time steering the lily pad every which way. Cheshire, slow down! Oh, well, that's fun. I'm soaked! I told you 
you to go slow. Oh, they're about to have a fight now. Oh no, they're not. That's surprising. What was that? Without whisper, with, uh, okay. We're having another thing. Who's there? How could this be? Before Ceresa stood her mother. Can we really believe it, though? That's the thing. We know what this forest is up to. We can't just blindly believe that that is actually her mother. No way in frick, okay? Listen, it's a possibility that's Rosa, but like, we can't, we can't play any games here. Mommy? Is it really you? Yes, my dearest Teresa. Come this way. Cap. Cap. Smelling Cap. Don't listen to her. Cheshire, make her stop. This is Cap. I don't. No. You're only letting me move forward. Is that you? No. Frick you, game. Get, let me have some control here. I can't go back or to the sides. I can only go forward. This is like some Subnautica Mesmer type stuff, bro. Teresa. Mommy, please don't go. Yes, my dear Mommy, wait! Mommy, please! Teresa, you're about to jump off a cliff, you idiot. I'm that coming, mommy! Don't leave me again! No. Yeah, Cheshire? The shade vanished with a blood chilling scream that echoed through the trees. <laughs> that was not your mother, Sereza. <laughs> Cheshire's strike had shattered the illusion, but it had taken a frightful toll on Sereza. She collapsed to her knees, her mother's final scream still ringing in her ears. Cheshire glanced down at Ceresa. He told her to hurry and get a move on, but the tears would not stop. Come on! If I hadn't dealt with that shade, you'd be face down at the bottom of that cliff! With each passing moment, the demon became increasingly annoyed. Cheshire! How could you? How could you do that to her? That was not your mother, Cereza. Unable to take Cheshire's abuse any longer, Cereza leapt to her feet. Behind her tears, Cereza's eyes burned with fury. I save you, and this is the thanks I get! Maybe if you weren't so helpless, I wouldn't need to fight all your battles. Cheshire was not about to back down. Oh boy. Why am I not surprised? I wouldn't expect a demon like you to understand anyway. And just so we're clear, you say I'm weak, but you can't survive without me either, remember? Look at you. You wouldn't last five minutes in this forest without me. Their fight was quickly reaching its boiling point. Oh boy. Then came the straw that broke the demon's back. Bruh. Don't forget who summoned you here. Why don't you just behave like a proper demon and do as I say? Bruh, well there goes the whole friendship thing. 
Cheshire's eyes narrowed. For a second, he was quiet. Cheshire broke the silence with a threatening growl. I wish I'd never summoned you! <laughs> Good. Good! That's it! That's We're it. through! We're Ceresa's final words echoed off the trees. Then all was still. Alone again. Well, we don't have Cheshire. Head to the fairy's fortress alone? I don't think that's a good idea. All right, Sereza, your call. Nah, bro, we're only like 26 minutes in. Oh, yeah, Cheshire's gone. I'm not gonna end it here, it's way too early for that. All right, alone again. I can get through this forest fine by myself. I'm not scared. Oh. Well, that's a fortress, all right. An odd structure appeared out of the gloom, towering before Ceresa. Ceresa? You can do this on your own. You don't need anyone's help. Okay, well, we can't go through this way because Cheshire isn't with us. I do not like where this is going. You don't have Cheshire with you. Flames everywhere. Even Morgana's hardest training doesn't make me sweat this much. There could be fairies anywhere. I've got to keep quiet. Yeah, I guess we're going on a stealth mission. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're gonna- we would need Cheshire for that one. Oh, oh, yo, yo, yo. Wow, look up there. What a perfect spot for a battle. We all know Ceresa can only do, like, this. So, uh... Oh, a cage. Guess that'll work. Oh my god.
Sereza alone. Sereza does not have the power to defeat an enemy on her own. Use your Umbran Arts to bind enemies and proceed forward. Sereza was on her own this time. How was she going to get out of this pickle? By just binding them, I guess. Yeah, so Cereza can't really do anything right now. So, uh, we're just gonna kinda have to keep moving. Oh boy, another one. Okay, did not mean to... I did not, bruh. Yo, hold up. Oh. It is really hard to do this. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to end well. Um, being without Cheshire is just a big mistake. Okay, let's go. Well, there goes that. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save the game here. Well, the game auto saves, so it should be fine. Let me just make sure it did. Yeah, it did. Alright. Just gotta remember to make sure I load up the autosave. But, uh, yeah. So, Cereza and Cheshire aren't liking each other too much at the moment. Even though, let's just be honest. Uh, let's just be real with ourselves. Obviously, Cereza's kinda in the wrong on this one. I mean, kinda is an understatement. I mean, like, Cheshire literally did save her life just then, and she's just like, No, but but that was definitely my mother. No cap on God. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Now she has to go through this entire fortress and somehow destroy an elemental core without Cheshire. This is going to be interesting. But, uh, hey, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.